yes, oh 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 and you know um don't do it the music videos were in question because you know they were aired after the date that the psalmers actually allow i posted a video yesterday talking about the fact that nasty c has been stripped of those awards and you know um a new nominee will actually be put in for you know that nomination at the psalmers now mabala noise has actually come out to give out a statement on this you know just talking about you know why or, or you know what they think about this whole situation because a lot of people have you know been giving them flack saying that it's their fault that you know nasty c hasn't you know nasty c's awards have actually been stripped um mabala noise actually came out you know talking about this they were telling chisa live they actually said mabala noise is 100 percent not to blame we did everything by the book we submitted on time and did not think that there would be any issue the blame is squarely on Visa, who did not do the correct checks and balances. They have acknowledged their fault and we accept it. Now, Bafetu, you heard my opinion yesterday about this. I told you guys that I don't believe that, you know, the Psalmers as an event that has been doing this for so long could make such a grave error in nominating someone. I, I find it difficult to believe. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I am saying that it's a bit far-fetched for me when I actually sit down and think about it because you do this every year. How do you fail to check whether someone meets the criteria to be nominated for a song? Doesn't really make sense. But, you know, um, and doesn't really, you know, um, reflect well on the psalmers as an event. But I also must, you know, say that I do agree with Mabala Noise to some extent to say that, you know, we should stop blaming them for, you know, nasty C being, you know, disqualified. Because, you know, um, the psalmers should have checked, that's true. But I wouldn't say that Mabala Noise is 100% not to blame. Because when you actually think about it, as a record label, you guys should have professional people that are able to check to see whether your candidates or whoever you're you are submitting you know for to be nominated for a summer you should have people in place that are able to check whether they do actually meet the criteria what you've done right now is tarnish nasty c's name for no reason because this reflects badly on nasty c who probably you know trusted you guys to actually say you know what you guys are gonna submit for me for the summers. Maybe didn't trust my or trusted his manager, whoever's to blame in between those people, you know. But that's who Nasty C is trusting to, you know, make his name, you know, look good in the public eye. And him, you know, losing this, you know, summer nomination doesn't reflect well on him. It makes him seem like, you know, one of the corrupt individuals, you know, that, you know, he's always obtaining things corruptly and further fuels the idea that he did not deserve the awards that he even won, you know, a few months ago. So as a label, you do need to accept some blame to say that, you know, we should have checked to see whether a nasty C does meet all the requirements to be nominated for a song. But Buffett, I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you guys think that Mabala Noise is 100% innocent of the situation? Or, you know, do you guys think like me that, you know, they should accept some blame? You know, the, the blame is mostly on the summers, but, you know, they should accept some blame for also not checking the pre-requirements. For somebody to be dominated because you know nasty c's name is actually suffering for this and i feel like you know he's a really good artist he shouldn't be going through what he's going through right now you guys leave a comment in the comment section and definitely subscribe we'll now wait 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 emma Billy, i know you want to go but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name man awesome.